fail. Not a tank, and as such, very e very good micro, very good teleportability, so very hard for Leoric to actually lane efficiently against. So Leoric's reaction to this is, oh, you have Black Harvest. Okay, I'm going to leave and help my team go for a gank and steal a cap. Yeah, that's a five-man engage on an enemy impaler. I love these decisions. They're so rare to see in uncoordinated play. And they come at a big price. One full tower goes down. Minion wave will kill it. XP was denied. And yet there is an opportunity to make a kill. And that's what makes these plays worth it sometimes. And oh, Crowy barely misses. Valby box will it kill. Oh. Karchi, once again, his final auto attack. Yeah, auto attack kills on Genji. Slightly more common than you would think. Redemption is a difficult quest to complete against threatening front and back lines. I mean, and mid lines against threatening <laughs> people. But. Oh, the Chromie oh, blow up! Dude, predicted! Anyway, it has to be I said, did, uh, one stack. It's only at 12 stacks that you get the full value and you lose three per death. So being back down to one does matter. It's not going to lose them the game, maybe, per se, not by itself. But it does matter. Yeah. Nice shot there, Tassadar. You stack up against them here. There's the full vision by Chromie and Hanzo and realize there is no way they should be staying around here. Another bolt eaten by a beetle there. Now the fight breaks out in earnest. All heroics are available from either side. Who will pull the trigger first? Hydra gets a lot of skellies there. Yeah, nice stun onto Lorana. They're going to try and focus him down here. And oh. there's the Tormented Souls. That's the commitment. Cocoon on Uther to prevent the Divine Shield. But the damage isn't quick enough, so it's not mattering. There's the Dragon Arrow. And now it's Henning, who might actually be in trouble. But he doesn't even need to Divine Shield himself. As the turnaround begins, where's the Divine Shield for Karsi? Just in time! He keeps going in, uses the maximum Dragon Blade before the Divine Shield expires. But it's still only Leoric who has managed to die. Really cool Archon timing there. And they are looking to try and get Chromie in here as well. The Hunzo damage. That is going to be it. But on the bright side, Chromie is very close to completing her baseline quest. 58 out of 60. Once she gets it, she gets a 40% damage echo. And Hanzo is very close to completing Redemption as well, I believe, for the first time in this He's game. 11. Yep, I for the so first as well. time. He needs a double hit on anyone at this point in order to complete that. But it's all of a minor concern. He's played most of the game without a level 1 talent. But once he gets it, more attack damage. More attack speed, synergizes with the Tassadar shield, and after all, his team is doing very well. Great move there by Venabili in the team fight. He turned on Tormented Souls, immediately followed up with Inevitable End so that he was unstoppable. It takes away the marks, but it is reapplied anyway because of the heroic. And that's how he was able to be such a threat. No one could have done anything against him since he was unstoppable. And now, keep, keep going down. Arcane Punisher, still very healthy. Could, it, could this be more? If they get a kill, maybe they can go for the core. Henning, Uther goes down immediately. The Entomb doesn't land either. Cocoon onto the Dragon Blade, so that's going to get no value. Hydra stuck in the back line, completely alone. Genji just flees, abandoning his team. The Dragon Arrow does not land, though. Genji might get killed by the Punisher. The relentless chase onto him here. But Genji barely able to survive. But it's only the Assassins left. It's a lot of damage. But there are too many healthy hit point bars here. So that is going to be likely GG. As we will see Manticore take game <laughs> number one. Nice dodge. Oh, there's more. <laughs> so let's talk about how the fights might look like. We see Manticore opening up with a lot of vision tools. They're going to open up with the flare from Hanzo. Maybe Eldruin's uh, might throw the sword. Oracle of Tassadar, some Sidestorm, some Scatter Arrow. All well and good, but if ever Team Singularity can get a little closer, they would very much like to cocoon the Tyrael, maybe the Sonia, probably the Tyrael, I would say, move past it with a Dahaka flank on Hanzo. Greymane wants to jump in. Lunara hopefully has been poking away a bit, and then they jump in with like an Ancestral, with a Burrow Charge and Impale, and their goal will be to pressurize Tassadar and Hanzo at the same time. Go for a single one, they get the D Shield. Way too long, and Tyrael comes back, shields everyone, mitigates Lunara's poison damage. Pressurized Tassadar Hanzo at the same time. The call was made not to engage. It's, it's probably for the best. Yeah, and it would have been a heroic that wouldn't have been down if they hadn't got the kill. Uh, wouldn't have been up, sorry, for the objective. It is forceful. A little bit of extra damage being dropped. A little couple more seconds onto Masquerade's quest. Also gives more slow on the auto attack. See that slow coming in, wow. and they're able to pick up the kill using the Dragon Arrow there. But you could really see the value of that Force 
reservation combo. Yeah, he was slowed so much, it adds more damage. Uh, because Sonya can now get more auto attacks and slams off. Look at that slow, amazing. Cool uh, animation, by the way, that ancestral healing color, kind of yeah. aquamarine, teal-ish color. Uh, but uh, yeah, that uh, shield breaker talent, sharpen arrowheads to get it with the dragon arrow, really finished off Anubarak before Ancestral could even go off one fourth, top wave, by enough time. I think they'd want to anyway because they're gonna, they're gonna want level 13, but they also want Ancestral because it's not up yet. Boom, three man stun. They don't want to wait as it goes casting into the backline. Isolation does land, but it's immediately cleansed thanks to that Zank. Toons gets Divine Shield as Hydra tries to sneak around and get him. And we do see that Manticore are completely trapped in here, but their damage output and their group up damage is significantly better, and they're able to hold the line here. So Anubar gets out, Garcy gets out as well. Amazing fight here by Singularity. I'm I'm so impressed that Garcy actually decided to go to the back line, recognizing that at least he was chased, his allies will be more safe. Oh now they have them cornered. Like they a pincer! Are the hell oh my <laughs> god, that's an damage! And that was so good! Toon looking to just get one kill, but it's not enough! But that was so This was indeed a boss trait moment. And they decided to greed out and just burrow charge into the dark, as they knew, pretty mm. much. Yeah, they saw that there were a couple members near the boss anyway, so they knew that's about where they were, and Dahaka was in mid, so they did not see the enemy team go past meaning that they either would have had to have bead back to base and then run in from that angle. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it would be really unusual. Now, boss That's with that. Siege Cam. This is going to be a keep. And the Haka actually getting the bottom keep. He's going to push that wave. And in about 20 seconds, there will be minus two keeps if it's performed well by Singularity. And mid keep is threatened. This keep is under pressure here. Dahaka is going to just try and kill off this keep by himself with a minion wave here. Might not be able to. Should be enough. He they need to hurry up. The enemy team's on the way. Another one! Oh, this is going to start getting frustrating for Singularity here. And save. As there are no objectives on the map, we look at only a team Singularity and the final minion shows it. You saw that Hanzo was going top. And this is true. They're all going top. Hydra gets out. The play for level 20 is too far away, but still, you want to have a good fight if you're going to have any fight. In From the dark come the entire team of Anticor, but leap, ha 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 ha, and Lenora gets out. And a mid heading cleanse, oh. got hit by that beautiful kill onto Hanzo, Banana Rage taken down as well, and this is a disaster. Valve beatbox, trying to escape, manages to, thanks to the holy ground, but here they're going to attempt to get one, maybe both of the, uh, both of the other keeps. Or the core. Oh, we've got us the core. Now it not, might not be the core because Nuti just took a lot of damage. Val Peebox getting focused out. Nuti needs to flee. Can he? Archers! Oh, it goes down. So this might not be enough damage now. Greymane is going to be so. It's going to be the same with Grace here. He's going to focus it down. Immediate turn from Venable. He needs to focus down the biggest damage dealer. But this defense might be enough. But either way, the keep is down. Val Peebox might be worth exploding here. Venable is dead. Hanzo. Returns for the last ditch effort. Val Beebox is down. Banana H coming in for the CC. Explosion. <laughs> down goes to Haka and the core will live. You know, the funny thing is, I think the Haka was waiting for the Tyrio explosion. He wanted to burrow right into it. But uh, Giant Slayer there with his scatter arrow yeah. into the core because he doesn't have pierce. So he needs to really hit the wall first. It killed the Haka from 35% life. <laughs> Fine shield is used. Has stuck in the cocoon here. So, Garcy looking to pick up one more kill, but Arna Rage drops the CC, Masquerade dropping the damage, and they are trading 3v3, and they are able to hold, but they don't stop the tribute being taken. Storm Shield, Contagion, Galloping Gate, and Hunter's Blunderbuss. None of that goodness for Manticore. No Divine Shield. Every other heroic is available here. This would be a curse if Manticore were able to pick this up. Uther is trying to channel through the bed of barbs. In comes the Haka. The Contagion only gets two, but that's still good because one of them was Tyrael. No sank available. Lunara leaps through the fight and destroys everything. Masquerade trying to hold. The GG is called as everyone will fall. Carthy's just going to head straight for the core because that's what's going to happen. 
and that is GG. Grubby, we have a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, well played by Team Singularity. Really like that fight at the left side tribute earlier on, the curse point. Uh, this one was a bit more of a foregone conclusion, but still very impressive. We see that uh, we have the equalizer coming up. That means third map between Manticore and Singularity will be coming up. Look at this. Yeah, and you said barriers. Barriers in every sense of the word. They're so keen on shields. Tassadar, Tyrael, and Lucio are just their go-tos all the time. Yeah, exactly. Well, there's pretty big threat on the side of Singularity as well, though. They've got the Tychus Ming. A lot of crowd control from Arthur and Nubarak and Mal. Twilight Dream. Try and make a play onto top here by the looks of it. Gonna try and actually get Sonya very early. Beautiful root shredding through the armor here. Is the overkill. And that's first blood. Good job, Carty. The sneaky gank. Fountain for later. Any eventuality where you might need it when the time pressure is more real. Immediate and very early fight over this objective. Toon being the frontliner for his team, <laughs> though. And as such, he gets locked down and killed off. That's the issue when you put Greyman as your frontliner while Val Beatbox was actually standing outside the circle. So Greyman was the focus. Nice water bomb there by Tychus. Cartoon confirming another kill. Nearly a third one. Singularity so far doing very well. They are indeed, but it's only half level lead. Early days still yet. Head start coming in for Singularity here due to the fact that they actually sent more than Greymane to the Immortal. But now, here is the group up for the race. And guess who isn't reacting that quickly this time? It's going to be Singularity. And they're going to have to play defensive. Yeah, they took a loan on uh, presence. They actually sacrificed top mercs. Will this pay off for them? Wow, Singularity comes out ahead. So. They left the top mercs to push a bit more to get the quick 50% on the Immortal to stop the Greymane damage. They recognized Sonya is in bot lane, Greymane is damaging the Immortal, so they knew 5 versus 3, they cannot afford to let themselves get distracted by the camp, which, to be fair, didn't do any damage on the wall. So it was perfectly played by Singularity. They are able to drive Manticore off the Immortal and let Nudi get back to work. Now level 10 is close. Uh, as my game hangs, is the stream still alive? Are you still there? Okay. My game was also hanging. Okay, cool. So, yeah, so we're, we're still going. We're moving. Cool. I was scared. Move back to the portal. Right before level 10. Right before level 10. Can Manticore do it yeah, without any losses? If oh. either team gets a kill here, no, nope, level 10 is immediately here for Singularity first. And that is it. They got it first. So they move in and get all the kills. The Immortal, though, does go over to uh, Manticore here. But Singularity come out so far ahead just due to that level 10 tick hitting first. And people love fighting over this camp. Yeah. Odin! This time, too late. The Odin is popped. Heroics used for a mercenary camp. There's a sanctification. Beautifully done here. Singularity looking very strong here. The nice Twilight Dream. Cocoon is popped, but a crazy zoning onto Greymane here. As Sonya is good, doing so good with that whirlwind, but the Anub interrupt is enough. Val Beatbox came in to help, but he will go down too. Can he get heading? <laughs> Great well time. exploded, my son. Uh, <laughs> nicely done there. Oh no, the dimensional shift was late. Already took all the damage he was going to take. But now it's going to be a defense moment for Manticore. They'll try to ha do a counterattack. Need to hurry up, because this could go badly if they're not careful. They begin to move in. There's the Odin. Tyrael gets rooted, moves back to his team as Hydra rolls in from behind. Cocoon. Material. Sang is available, so while he's in this cocoon, that's a huge deal. The good sound barrier, though, allowing him to turn around and focus down heading, even though he's already managed to get the Twilight Dream off. Val Vivo gets the sanctification, keeping himself alive and giving Sonya a place to retreat to as Banana H is getting focused, but he speed boosts out the orb, the orb from over the wall, nearly finishes him off. And once again, it is Toon is the one who goes down, along with Tassadar from earlier in the fight. Yeah, Tassadar got Twilight Archon. He got Silence Venabili, takes the Consolation Prize, goes for an Impaler Camp here, and that's a full shield Immortal. This is insane. Team Singularity got their next Odin out, took a great fight. As he was the one most out of position, Masquerade. He has to eventually shift back again. Val Beatbox, so aggressive, but that speed boost, so helpful, but he still might get caught out. Gets rooted, dropped his shield. It is nice, but the Tyker's damage. He's only able to get out thanks to that Lucio speed. Shields are gone. That means the Immortal will become melee. Makes it a little bit easier to take down. Continue to poke it. Greymane staying in ranged mode for his own personal safety. Stun onto Val Beatbox. 
they move in. The Twilight Dream is used, but Sound Barrier keeps him alive. Sonya's in the cocoon, though. They need to be able to turn this around and get to her to keep her alive here. Get rooted, but Whirlwind's out. Nicely done. Ah, he, he took that power. hurricane for the root removal. Ah, very clever. Very clever indeed. And as such, they're going to be able to drop Masquerade. This could have been re a really bad idea. Speed boost. Oh, oh he gets out. So barely 20 hit points. Even at talent tiers. As Manticore, play on defensive. But the fact is, when you're defending against Li Ming, you're taking a lot of damage. Yeah, still take a lot of damage. Those missiles are finding their mark. Sanctification will have to be used just to save himself. But the appeal will prevent it. it. Goes down. And that is... Three heroes dead. Venability makes it four. And Tassadar is wondering how on earth he is going to defend this core as all of Singularity are moving in. Like a several years cooldown since the last time he used it against the Overmind. As that is going to be GG. A great interrupt on the Sanctification by Cassian Laranus allows them to take out the members of Manticore and take the series in a 2 1. And that, as such, makes them our first open division winners and they get the full points yeah congratulations to team singularity great plays coming from all five of them don't see someone who 100 percent stands out over the others don't see anyone that is making it difficult for them every member on the team has been making some amazing plays <laughs>